Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Weird Wednesday video. Today we are doing something completely different. This is so f***ing weird because somebody else is holding the camera and <laughs> I can't, the viewfinder is not flipped up, it's weird. Um, today I'm going to try and follow a homicidal homemaker tutorial. So I'm sure everybody knows about Homicidal Homemaker, but if you don't, they sell a whole bunch of good horror related like food things, baked goods, and a couple weeks ago for Halloween time, she made a version of Burger King's Nightmare King, which there will be a better picture Casey made. Um, she's vegetarian, but she made this completely vegan, so I don't even have to like switch out anything, which is rad. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to make this today. I thought it would be fun. Cause yeah, the only, the only like, I know it's like a trend, you know, you like, I tried following so-and-so's makeup tutorial. But the only way you can do that in the horror community is like SFX makeup and I can barely do regular makeup. So like SFX is like out of the question. Um, but cooking, I'm decent at. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I got all my ingredients. Well, this is just the ingredients to make the buns because Casey was like extra and awesome, I mean awesome, um, and made her own green buns. <laughs> I'll put up pictures. Um, and it's, so they're like naturally colored and not food dye. So that's what we're making first because they have to rise like two times. Um, it's a whole thing. And then we'll get to like the assembling stuff. But right now we're gonna make the buns. I did a little mise en place, I set the scene. Don't roll your eyes. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> <coughs> thing that Casey says to do is in a large skillet, add half a cup of water and three cups of loosely packed spinach. Cook for one to two minutes until the spinach has reached a bright green hue. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Um, right. I don't know if I need to put the water in here first, but I just did it. Casey, you didn't say. And we're gonna add our spinach in here. I hope I don't fuck this up already. Hey, look at that. Primo lighting, baby. gonna be in try and pour the shit in here. Okay. Transfer both the cooked spinach and the water to the blender. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do this. I don't know how I'm gonna get the water in there, but first things first, we're gonna do spinach. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but Tony backed away. <laughs> Pour the blended mixture into a one cup measuring cup. Huzzah. Adding enough warm water to reach one cup of liquid will reduce the bit. I might as well do this. <laughs> Yum. Oh no, we're gonna add some, we need to add some warm water. I hope that's warm. Okay, so we gotta make sure it's not too. That's like a bath. Did you wash your hands? Mm-mm. <laughs> I was gonna have you test it. That's like bath water. I would get into that. Into that? I'm vegan. Yes. What do you think we bathe in? Idiot! <laughs> Yeast, sugar, and half a cup of flour together. Cook it. Uh, yeast, you measured out the flour. Oh. He did. Tony used to have a YouTube channel where he made like funny videos. But... Oh. 
Well, you didn't like your videos? I liked your videos. Oh, they were awkward. Huh? They were awkward. That's why they were funny. Okay. <laughs> and I got yeast. Beep, 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 beep. And we measured out the flour too. Yeah, boy. That's got to sit, and the yeast has to bloom. Bloom. Be back after these messages. If it's bloomed, blossomed, which one? <laughs> it's been five minutes. Says so five to ten. Expert. See those bubbles? Yes. It's alive. <laughs> that the yeast mixture is ready. Okay. So next thing we gotta do is stir in the olive oil, salt, and flaxseed. <laughs> Hey. Okay. Oh god. Oh no. Huh. Okay. That was a that was a big tablespoon. <laughs> okay, we'll add a little bit left on that one. Okay. What was the other thing? Or if it says, I missed it somewhere. You said a teaspoon? Teaspoon. Have a teaspoon. Looks bigger to me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks bigger on camera. After this, we're gradually going to add in the flour, half a cup or so at a time. Feel the need, the need to need. In an oiled bowl, allow the dough to rest with a warm, damp, damp cloth or plastic wrap over the top of the bowl. Place in a warm location. Well, we're in Florida, so. For about 45 minutes or until the dough has doubled in size. Okay, and. Got some oil. Okay, um... to my arch nemesis, Saran. It's already winning. <laughs> Now 
And we're back. So the dough has arisen. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> I know, mom that said that's how you test it. <laughs> Shut up. You violated. <laughs> so next thing um, says once the dough has doubled in size, give it a good sucker punch right in the middle. <laughs> Turn it onto a flat eating surface again. <laughs> That sucker punch. <laughs> Let's cut the dough into eight even pieces. I don't know if I want to do eight even pieces. I might do six. Um, and then knead each piece into a round shape. Knead each piece into a round shape, gathering the edges into the center and pinching together. Place them pinch side down onto parchment lined baking sheet. Now we're gonna have to take another break because we gotta cover them and then let them sit again and then they rise again. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Vegan milk here. This boathouse farms, I think it's called. I'm using it's milk made from peas. I know it sounds weird. Don't worry. It tastes delicious. So I don't have any actual everything topping and didn't want to buy dried onions and garlic, so it's just mostly just salt and sesame seeds and poppy seeds. <laughs> That's what we got going on here. I feel like I'm assembling like a Krabby Patty or something. <laughs> 350 degrees. Yeah. I feel like those are gonna be ginormous. Okay. I don't have the exact stuff that Casey used. I got some field roast vegan hamburger, whatever it's called, hand-formed field burger. And then I already had some of these for like the chicken patty. So I'm just gonna use these cause I already have them on hand. And my mom got vegetarian bacon that has eggs and milk in it. So. <laughs> well, I'm just explaining because it's not gonna have the bacon on it like Casey's does because I don't have vegan bacon. <laughs> here. I feel very self-conscious because I don't have the amazing setup that Casey has. So I will implore you again, if you have not seen her show, you need to check it out because <laughs> The production value alone is amazing, seriously. Um, okay, that one seems like it's heated, so I guess I'll get started on the chicken. Hey, yeah. <laughs> His face. What? My name is Bill Wilkins, <laughs> and I'm 72 years old. <laughs> Time. 
Quality content over there. Kind <laughs> of test him. Ow! Hi, <laughs> 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 burn my you burn yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Ow. So I assembled the burgers. So it's got the beef patty. Uh, it's got a slice of follow your heart American cheese. I'm not sponsored by anybody, by the way, just saying. Um, the chicken patty, onion, and then it's got vegan mayo to top it off. There's three burgers here. There's three people here. So everyone's gonna take a bite and you're gonna give me a rating, okay? Okay. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Good, good? Mm -hmm. What would you rate it out of 10? Be honest. You can't hurt my feelings. Like a seven. Seven? Solid seven? Okay, that's solid. I'll take it. What do you think? Be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give it a seven. Seven? That sounds good. Yeah, boy! <laughs> That's probably gonna be a long ass video. Um, <laughs> let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else you want me to try and make <laughs> for a video, or if you want me to try SFX makeup, I can't guarantee it. Um, so there you have it. I got two seven out of 10. It's pretty dope. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye.